We are presenting our paper name that's computational thinking correlated with personality, the, the non-cognitive side of computational thinking. The co-authors are Juan Carlos Pérez González from NED, Jesús Moreno León and Gregorio Robles from Universidad de Juan Carlos, and myself, Marco Román González. So, um, we probably all agree that computational thinking is becoming a trending topic in education, but we probably also agree that in a broad sense, computational thinking is a key set of problem-solving skills that should be acquired by the new generations of students in order to survive and to thrive in a computer-based world, uh, in a world full of objects driven by software. However, there is still little consensus about a formal definition of computational thinking, an alarming gap about how to measure and assess computational thinking, and there are disagreements on how it should be integrated in educational curricula. Furthermore, from a psychometric approach that is my background, I'm an educational psychologist, computational thinking is not a well-established psychological construct yet, as its nomological network has not been fully defined. In other words, uh, the correlations between computational thinking and other cognitive and non-cognitive variables uh, has not been reported by this scientific community. Okay, in this direction, we have a very recent paper that is the background for the paper we are presenting today, which graphical abstract uh, is now on the screen and describes the relations between computational thinking and other cognitive variables. As you can see, we report we report statistically significant correlations strong between computational thinking and problem solving ability and moderately intense between computational thinking and reasoning and spatial ability. <coughs> These results empirically corroborate the con conceptualization of computational thinking as mainly a problem solving skill and these results are consistent with recent theoretical models that relate computational thinking with some factors of the CHC model of intelligence, specifically short-term memory, fluid reasoning, and visual uh, processing. However, as far as we know, no empirical research has been conducted so far studying the correlations between computational thinking and non-cognitive variables. Thus, our research uh, question is, uh, you can see, does computational thinking correlate with personality? To do so, we firstly investigate the background in the literature about possible relations between computational thinking and personality. Okay, so, on the one hand, some definitions of computational thinking include includes non-cognitive aspects like what we are seeing on, on the screen, the operational definition of computational thinking from the CSTA in 2011. And this operational definition finishes saying um, computational thinking skills are supported and enhanced by a number of dispositions or attitudes that are essential dimensions of computational thinking. Confidence in dealing with complexity, persistence in working with difficult problems, tolerance for ambiguity, the ability to deal with open-ended problems, and the ability to, to communicate and work with others to achieve a common goal or solution. On the other hand, we review the big five model of human personality, which validity has been also demonstrated in childhood and adolescence. And this model states that the personality of the subject can be described through the following five factors. It's like OCN. That is the O factor, as openness to experience, also called intellect, that refers to 
uh, self-reported intellect, especially in the school domain, broadness of cultural interest, and self-reported fantasy and creativity. The C factor, conscientiousness, that refers to aspects such as autonomy, orderliness, precision, persistence, and the fulfilling of commitments. The E factor, extraversion, also called energy, it refers to aspects such as sociability, activity, enthusiasm, assertiveness, and self-confidence. The A factor, agreeableness, that refers to aspects such as concern and sensitivity towards others and their needs, and tendency to cooperation. And the N factor, neuroticism, also called emotional instability, that refers to feelings of anxiety, depression, discontent, irritability, or anger. Okay, so if we intersect the dispositions or attitudes that underlie computational thinking following the operational defini definition from CSTA with the five personality dimensions from the Big Five model, we obtain this cross tab and we and we follow this cross tab. We expect our hypo hypothesis is that uh, computational thinking should correlate positively with openness and in a lesser extent with conscientiousness. Moreover, because prior research on the Big Five model ha has demonstrated that these factors, openness and conscientiousness, are the only two positively correlated with cognitive traditional variables such as academic achievement or intelligent quotient. Okay, so we, con we conduct an empirical study aimed at verifying this hypothesis. Our sample is composed by almost 100 Spanish students from 5th to 10th grade, that is from 10 to 16 years old. And the whole sample it performs this, the following two assessment instruments. Firstly, this is the computational thinking test. Um, this is a multiple choice instrument that is composed by 28 items that is administered online. There are some, you can see some examples. And in summary, by said on our prior research, um, we can say this, this instrument is reliable and valid for assessing computational thinking in this range of ages. Okay, and on the other hand, Secondly, we administered the Big Five questionnaire in the children version. And this is a questionnaire without time limit that is composed by 65 items. And for each of them, the child, the child rates the occurrence of the behavior reported in the item using a five-point Likert scale. And ranging from one, almost never, to five, almost always. You can see some examples on the screen. Okay, so now the table shows the correlations expressed uh, with, uh, uh, as a person, person's R between scores from the computational thinking test and the five personality factors assessed through the Big Five question. As you can see, the computational thinking test has a positive, a statistically significant correlation with three of the five factors. Two of them are expected correlations, a moderate one with the openness factor and a slight one with the conscientiousness factor. However, we find also an unexpected correlation between the computational thinking test and the extraversion E factor, which needs uh, more discussion. So this is really the unexpected result we have found. Therefore, our results led us to speculate if extraversion, that is also called energy, is not only the tendency to be with others, it's also assertiveness or energy in the things you do, and self-confidence, might be a specific personality trait of top computational, computational thinkers. And we, have, we, we found three types of additional evidences that may support this argumentation. Firstly, there are some emerging and comprehensive computational thinking assessment frameworks that take into account leadership, 
assertiveness and effective communication skills, which are at the core of the extroversion, extroversion factor, as important ingredients of computational thinking. Secondly, we have some qualitative evidence so far in which teachers report the unexpected brilliant performance of students, usually disruptive or usually inattentive, that they, per they perform brilliantly when they are faced with computer programming tasks. Okay, so in other words, we have some evidence, qualitative evidence, that say that the students with some externalizing problems like hyperactivity, disruptive conduct, or inattentiveness, which are linked with the extroversion factor, seem to respond especially well when faced with programming tasks. And thirdly, speculating that computational thinkers might be precursors of future top developers in open source software communities, there is also prior research that demonstrate that these top developers are more extroverted than the regular ones. Okay, so <clears throat> anyway, this is uh, a starting point, and we need to conduct further research in this area because our final goal is to is completing a quite full nomological network of computation, computational thinking so we can establish a better a stronger um, the correlations of computational thinking as a psychological construct with the rest of uh, psychological variables. Okay? Now, so thank you very much. That's it.